Hi everyone, Andy Trice here, and today I want to talk about detail preserving upscale in the latest version of After Effects CC. Detail preserving upscale is a new way that you can take your content and make it bigger without sacrificing any kind of quality. You won't sacrifice contrast, you won't sacrifice colors, and you won't be introducing pixelation. It's a new way to, to take your content. Let's say you have something small and you want to put it into HD, or even you want to put it into Ultra HD, but you and you want to preserve the quality of that piece of video, you can use detail preserving upscale to do that. And it can be applied to, let's say, something if you just want an effect in your videos, you want one piece to be bigger, or if you want to make the entire video bigger to that uh, larger HD or ultra HD format. Let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of examples so we can compare uh, the traditional scaling versus detail preserving upscale side by side and you can see the difference for yourself. The first one I want to show you is some footage I have from the inauguration of John F. Kennedy in 1961. This was already put into a digital format. This video is 482 by 360, so it's a low resolution, it's, it's lower resolution than actual HD footage, but let's say I want to take this and put it into a 4K composition. Let me go ahead and jump over to my composition window. This composition, if I select it here, you can see that it's actually 4096 by 3112, so it's a significantly larger video, and if I show that video clip to put it in perspective, this is the original video size compared to the entire frame of the 4K composition. If I wanted to upscale this video to fill this entire area for my composition, I could use the traditional scaling implementation. So I'll show you an example that I've already scaled. If, we, if I twirl this down, I go to transform, you can see that I've got an 850% scale on this video clip. And with this, you can see, even though we're zoomed in, it's not going to be 100% quality, you can see that there's a lot of pixelation. Let me actually zoom in a little bit further, and you can see I'm now at 100% of the composition size, and you can see we've got some pixelation happening. Let me jump back, back out to fit this, and we'll twirl this back up. Now let's look at the same clip that's been resized using Detail Preserve Upscale. You'll see that when I toggle back and forth, so right now I'm viewing Detail Preserve Upscale. Here, again, I'm using traditional scaling, Detail Preserve Upscale, and again, traditional scaling, that there's less pixelation. Let me zoom in a little bit more so you can get a better idea of what I'm talking about. We're now at 100% resolution, and you can see that when I'm using the traditional upscaling, which is shown right here, that there's some pixelation, there's a, l a loss of detail, and if I jump back to detail preserve upscale, you can see that more detail has been preserved and there's less pixelation. Again, I'll show you. This is traditional upscale, this is detail preserve upscale. Let me go ahead and drag around the video so we can look at a couple other different examples. Here's another face. I'm Right now we're viewing detail preserve upscale, and then we're back to traditional scaling with the transform. You can see that there's more pixelation, and there's less detail on the face. Back to Detail Preserve Upscale, there's no pixelation, there's more detail on the face, and there's actually more contrast, so the darks stay dark, the lights stay light, there's not kind of a blending of colors. Now let's jump over to an another example that's not necessarily as dramatic. The source video is actually 1080p, and what I want to do is take this video and upscale to a Ultra HD 4K format, so it's 3840 by 2160. So it's still the same 16 by 9 aspect ratio, but essentially I'm doubling it in size. And if I were to use traditional scaling, you can see that it still looks pretty good um, because the source content was already at 1080p, but it doesn't look perfect. There's, it's still a little bit grainy, fuzzy in certain areas. Let me zoom in to 100% resolution. And we can see that there's a lot of detail, but it could actually be better. So this is traditional scaling. Now let me show you, again, detail preserving upscale. So this is detail preserving. I'll jump back to traditional. And then I'm going to jump back to detail preserve. And you can see that while it's a very, very subtle difference, it's clearer and there's more detail in the detail preserving upscale. Let me pan over to some other parts of the composition. Again, I'm going to turn back to traditional scaling, and then I'm going to turn back to detail preserving upscale. And you can see that while it's very, very subtle, that there's 
less distortion, the shapes are more precise, there's no pixelation in screen and toggle between the two. You can see a slight difference, so this is traditional scaling and this is detail preserving upscale. Again, traditional scaling, detail preserve upscale. Especially if you look around the Baker and Hamilton letters, you can see that there is more detail with the detail preserving upscale. If you'd like to learn more, check out my blog at tricedesigns.com. And if you're not already a member of Creative Cloud, be sure to, to become a member today at creative.adobe.com. Thanks.